Hi, it's Lynette here and thank you for joining me today. So today I have a massive pound shop haul. So if you have never been online and you're a fan of shops like Poundland and Pound Stretchers and Home Bargains, Pound Shop is an online version of those shops. It's absolutely fantastic. And I haven't ordered for a wee while. I think the last time might have been before Christmas or maybe even over that. Um, so I'm just going to go through the items. Most things on their website are a pound or two pound, but some things are more expensive. So when I saw this, I actually had to get it. <laughs> it's one of the main reasons. I've been eyeing up one of these for ages. And you're going to say, what is it you've been eyeing up with it? A collapsible washing up bowl. Yes, a collapsible washing up bowl. That sounds really sad, doesn't it? I don't actually use a washing up bowl in the house, but there are occasions where you kind of think, oh, I wish I had one. So for example, if I'm outside and I'm cleaning down the, the windows and things, I think a washing up bowl would be handy. Um, rather than just a spray um, bottle and whatever, or if you need to soak your feet. So that is particularly why I got the square one. You can get the round ones as well, which I might actually pick up a round one too. Um, but this was £7 and it's actually one of the cheapest prices I've seen them for. So I was quite happy to pay £7 for that. And it folds down and you can kind of store it in the back of a cupboard. I suppose you could also use it as a little tray, couldn't you, as well? <laughs> if you have, if you kind of thought, right, I've got, I need a tray for something. Yeah, so it could do one use if you want. But uh, yeah, I've bought it for the collapsible washing up bowl and predominantly for soaking my feet in. Um, I know I could have got a foot spa, but I didn't want a foot spa. I wanted something, I get really bad England toenails, so sometimes just softening them up before they're treated. Um, and I don't know why, I get rid of them and then I kind of seem to get more. Um, so I don't know what I'm doing wrong, it's probably the way I'm cutting my toenails, absolutely is. Um, but I just try and file them now, but try and not file them round, try and file them straight. So yep, this is um, kind of going to get a lot of use I think. So I'm looking forward to... Looking forward to trying a bowl. That's really sad, isn't it? I can't believe I just said that. I'm not looking forward to trying it, honest. <laughs> so if you like the um, Lenore Unstoppables, these were on the website. They're from Air Pure and they're Incredibles and they're in wash scent boosters. There we go. And they're in Fuchsia and Pearls and Midnight Glow. I don't normally bother about things like this, but I think things like linen and would be nice. Yeah, it's lovely. The fuchsia and pearl is really nice. And it says up to 10 washes in here. You just put a cap full in. And, um, oh, that's lovely as well. The midnight glow. So there you go. I think they were either a pound or two pounds, but they were kind of half, they were, they were much cheaper. They're less than half price of what you would spend on the Lenore ones. But the Lenore ones actually are much bigger. Um, so you need to take that into account as well. But I am terrible at trying to work out what packaging sizes are. Okay, so I ordered this, just a plain old um, butterfly tin opener because I've got two fancy tin openers in the cupboard, in the drawer, and um, I haven't got a clue how to use them. Every time I go to use them, I'm like, oh, what way am I putting it on? And I've got one that I completely lost the track of how I used it the last time. So it was funny, I was trying to open a tin of beans. I got a tin of beans and they didn't actually have a ring pull on it, which is quite unusual, isn't it? But I'd actually already ordered this before Steve and I were kind of like, how does that tin opener work? So I said to him, I said, I've actually just ordered a regular one. Um, I'd usually pick something up like this if I was going to Ikea. But it also has a bottle opener as well on the front. Isn't that there? Not all of them have that. So that's quite good. That was definitely only a pound for that. Um, I've not got my garden furniture yet because I'm kind of not sure what I want but I thought for when you're sitting out I picked up these and they're so cute I think these were two pounds the citronella bucket candle and they're only for use for outdoors but I did quite like the little tins and I thought I could actually keep them in future and just put the little tea lights in that they sell but I thought that was handy and I think bugs are supposed to really detest the smell of citronella you can actually plant um is it lemon balm where the citronella oil comes from but I don't know how well it grows in this country and what kind of soil it needs and all the rest of it so I thought I'll just buy these and this other one this is amazing so it's incense um citronella incense sticks it's a pack of 30 and it comes with a holder 
So I actually was really surprised. I didn't think it would come with a holder at all. So you use these outdoors, obviously you don't want it to be um, too kind of windy, I imagine. But once it gets going, it's fine, isn't it? You can just smell it through the packaging. So you get 30 of those and then um, you just pop that on and hopefully, don't do what I did yesterday. I was sitting out uh, for half an hour having my cup of coffee after tea and um, I was wearing a bright, <laughs> bright yellow top and um, normally the beasties don't bother me when I'm outside but they were all attracted to my top so that's a lesson for me, don't wear a bright yellow top outside. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to kind of trying these. I might wait until I've got a table and everything. What else have I picked up here? Oh, um, Bin Odor Neutralizer from Does It. It says suitable for wheelie bins and dustbins, citrus scented. Now I washed my wheelie bin the other week there and already ugh, it smells a bit funky. So I have t told the people in this, that live in this house to put their um, their food and their food peelings and their waste into the actual food bin. Um, however, I don't put onions in the food bin because as soon as those you put those in, you need to kind of empty it. So I put those in the bin in a bag, but the rubbish bin still smells. So I thought I'm going to try this, the bin odour neutraliser, because um, I'm not cleaning it every week. But I might just get the guys to clean it. I think there's local guys that come round and just kind of clean it once a month or something. Um, so please remove. So it's got a safety cap on it. smell it it's really weird like I've never washed the cardboard bin or the plastic bin yet but they smell how can those bins smell um, but I'm just going to get the guys to do it I think mm, can't really smell anything from it but it's citrus scented so we'll see what that's like when I pour it into the bin once it's been emptied so there we go um, what else did I get oh this is part of the reason I actually made this order. Um, <laughs> I think yeah, there's a minimum. I'm sure there might be. It kept telling me that I hadn't spent. I think you have to spend maybe up to £30. But that might not be true. I need to go and check that out. But one of the things I wanted to go on for. Was Kellogg's Crunchy Nut Peanut Butter Crunchy. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm not a massive fan of peanut butter. But I love Crunchy Nut Corn Flakes. And I just thought. I wonder if this is going to taste like a Crunchy Nut Corn Flake on my toast. Um... I think it's just made by honey, um, roasted peanuts and honey coated roasted peanuts. Sugar, sunflower oil, honey, salt, glucose, all the ingredients that are in it are nasty. Oh, palm oil, uh, yeah, not very great is it? Um, probably shouldn't have bought this, but hey ho, I've got it now. So I'm looking forward to popping that on some toast and I'm really hoping it tastes how I imagine. That's so childish, eh? <laughs> Um, the next thing I ordered was the Sure Deodorant and the Sure Dry Active for Steve and one for me. I have been using roll-ons, however, when the weather's been a little bit hot, the, the Sure roll-on doesn't really be perform. It isn't performing as well as the Dove one. So I just picked this one up, but I will return to the, the Dove roll-on. That Was it Dove? I can't remember the last, I'll need to check my empties. The last roll on that I had was much better than the sure ones, but I just bought a tin of this just to kind of keep me fresh. Um, but this smells like strawberries and apricots. It's a bright boutique. Mm. I'll spray it for you and I'll tell you. Nope. Mm, not getting strawberries and apricots, but it does smell nice. And um, I picked this up for Steve because Brandon wears this and he always comments on how nice he likes the smell. In fact, Brandon gave him a tin that he had um, going spare. So I ordered one for Steve. And loads of other things in here. While I was there, I saw these food bags and um, the ceiling clips because I've always got like packets of um, peas and sweet corn in the freezer um, just open. So these are seals and they've got little kind of like bulldog clips so that'll come in handy and it'll save my bottom of my freezer drawer being covered in uh, peas and sweet corn that roll out i picked up these two items now they're bicarbonate of soda um i think they're just in two different containers one's does it and one's by dry pack um these are not for like human consumption you can't actually put the bicarbonate of soda in anything um 
it, it's just to clean and freshen your house. So it's got loads of purposes. They're actually really good for, um, see if you've got a child that's maybe had an accident, um, you sprinkle this on, leave it to dry and hoover it up and it's supposed to be really, really good for that. Um, but it's also good for cleaning things. But after I ordered them, I realised, because that said baking soda cleaning um, product and that was just bicarbonate of soda. Um, but they're basically the same thing, baking soda and bicarbonate of soda. But yeah, not for human consumption, not for antacid juice. So there's purely for cleaning. So make sure you put them in the right cupboard um, and don't put this or this in your baking cupboard. Otherwise, you might end up pretty sick. So yeah, just be careful with that. Um, I'm going to draw a cross, a skull and crossbones on it. I picked up these two soaps, the Imperial Leather Luscious Pink Lemonade. Um, I had the donut one, but it smelt kind of vanilla. -y. Um, but oh, look at this! Look at that! Bright pink. It smells lovely. I was saying to my husband, do you remember years ago you got Imperial Leather and it had the sticker on it? And I don't know how they put that sticker on it, but. <laughs> When you use that bar of soap, it could be a slither and it still had the sticker on it. It might just be me, but obviously these ones don't have the stickers on it. But I just think, how did that sticker stay on until it was like just a little slither? I also picked up these. Um, these will be for tomorrow after a way in. The Fries Truckers Delight mini bars. Um, we saw them in Home Bargains, but... We didn't pick them up and I thought, oh, I need to pick them up. Some cleaning products, which they helpfully actually popped in a separate bag that's sealed. So that's really good in case it was to leak. Um, I like that. I've got a little bit of attention to detail. Um, what did I pick up? I picked up an Astonish bathroom cleaner. Astonish is fantastic. It's vegan and it's cruelty free and it's really reasonably priced. Um, what else did I pick up? I picked up the um, Domestos um multi-purpose bleach spray because i can't seem to get my silic bang so i need to pop to somewhere like morrison's or tesco's because they they don't seem to stock it in a lot of places oh i picked this up it's a body spray by impulse a fizzy apple and festival fields so i've not got a clue what it smells like <laughs> festival fields could be good it could be bad um oh that's lovely so really summery, the apple really comes through. Oh, I love that. I love some scents make me happy. Is that sound weird? Like the um, Soap and Glory. There was one of those body spray that I spray it on and it just lightens my mood, which is really weird. I'm sure there's some kind of connection there, but that has got that lovely smell to it. And this is the Fabulosa um, Electrify, it's called. And it's long-lasting freshness, eliminates odours, cleans and shines, and ready to use. So this is um, the Fabulosa disinfectant, but it, it's been watered down, so it's ready to use. Um, but what I will do is I will keep this bottle once it's finished, and I'll top it up with the Fabulosa that I've got. So that'll make it a bit more environmentally friendly if I'm topping this up with the disinfectant in the, in the smaller bottle. So it's ready to use. So I'm going to actually spray it on this. It's actually quite nice and fresh. It's not strong at all, but um, yeah, it's got a nice fresh scent to it. So I probably didn't need it anymore. I'm sure I've still got the wild, wild rhubarb, I think it is. Yeah, this room actually, I'm just looking around me and it's a tip. I've got Brandon's stuff that was in the shed. Um, but it's all his kitchenware from his flat. I've got boxes and boxes and boxes of stuff. I've got stuff to go up to Stephen, stuff to sort out. So I've got this camera angled and you can't actually see it, but it's disgraceful. So I'm going to sort Stephen's stuff out and then clear out the rest of my crap. I'm keeping boxes and things for sending folk to st stuff to folk and I just kind of think it's getting a bit out of control at the moment. Just looking down, honestly. Um, I can imagine Brandon wants to come in at some point and play his PlayStation or Xbox or whatever it's called and he'll complain <laughs> so i am quite literally obsessed with reed diffusers um these were really cheap i think they were about a pound um so this is cotton fresh and this is tropical coconut so i picked up in my home bargains haul that you might see coming up soon i picked up some gel um 
the, the it's supposed to be an air freshener it's just gel can't smell anything at all so i'm just i'm gonna have to declutter those which is disappointing um but i thought i'll pick these up and um, the little they're by bloom last up to four weeks so those will be kind of hopefully a wee discreet corner in the bathroom or i don't put them in my bedroom because my husband's um quite sensitive to to smells and things but in the kitchen in the the bathrooms and things and this is another one by air pure so it's a two-in-one reed diffuser fresh linen comfort um i will share with you how i've got on with these in my empties videos there's there's more by the way um the jelly bean reed diffuser and um, pink grapefruit. Now, I didn't actually realise it was grapefruit, so I might have to have a wee sniff of that, and I might have to pass that on. I might even just put it in Brandon's room, because his girlfriend loves grapefruit. I'm not a fan of grapefruit, so I'm just hoping it does smell nice, but I might still pop it in Brandon's bedroom anyway. Um, another one, I told you I'm obsessed. Um, Air Pure Forever Berry. <laughs> I don't do things by half, and sometimes I think... I've gone on a bit of a spending spree this week and sometimes I think I do that when my anxiety's peaked um, because I'm sitting round here with all this stuff that I don't actually need. I've got a cleaning cupboard full of stuff. Um, so yeah, don't be like me. <laughs> Just order what you need. Don't honestly go mad. Um, I actually took a lot out of my basket. It was really good. Um, oh yeah, because I just had to have one of these as well. <laughs> citronella diffuser for outdoor use only i mean what the i mean diffusers aren't even that great at the best of times so I, I, this has to be really strong to kind of keep the bugs away i don't know what i was thinking i don't think i was thinking but only for outdoor use this reed diffuser and i think this is last but not least that these are called drain sticks not brain drain sticks and they keep your pipes clear and order free so what you do is you get 12 sticks one per month monthly treatment for free flowing drains there we go so for sinks baths and showers and um, clear your drain thoroughly first before using this product so drop one drain stick down the plug hole wash your hands thoroughly after handling the product replace every month now when it says replace what does that mean Mm. So it says here, keep out of reach of children, do not ingest if accidentally swallowed, um, do not ingest vomit in, seek medical attention if you are unwell, may irritate or cause an allergic reaction in contact with skin, um, causes serious eye irritation, avoid contact with skin and eyes, if contact occurs, flush with plenty of water, seek medical attention if affected, ensure adequate ventilation as vapours could cause drowsiness or dizziness harmful to aquatic life with long-lasting effects dispose of waste containers responsibly so i'm not even sure i want to use these um i mean are you supposed to pop them in and then take them out i might have to go away and google because look it looks like it sits here so no how can you replace that every month you can't get to that i'm not taking my u off because the problem is that the, the water and the hair and everything sits in the u bend. So sometimes when I'm doing stuff to clear the drains, Steve will just say, just take the u bend off and clear the hair and the crap that gets in there. But, um, yeah. It's just because it says replace. Okay. Well, I'll, if I use this, I'll pop it in my, um, my clean and empties household empty so you can see but um yeah this ended up a longer video that i had intended but it's pound shop and it's an online um shop and it's got everything that you can imagine that you would get in poundland and no, it doesn't have as much of the home stuff as home bargains but um it's got it's got loads of fantastic cleaning homeware beauty so yeah i definitely recommend it and i ordered it and it arrived pretty quickly as well um you do have to pay for postage but considering what i got is only something like three or four pounds which i thought was okay um and it's all delivered to your door in a big heavy box so um yeah i picked it up upstairs but um i'll decant it down individually so anyway guys if you're still here thanks for watching see you soon bye